Hey everybody, it's Mel. Today I am finally doing my I Saw the Devil review. I've been putting this review off for a while, um, not because I don't want to do it, but I'm just nervous I won't do this film justice. Uh, <clears throat> I think me picking this as a movie you've never heard of shows a little bit of my lacking in film knowledge. This is actually a, you know, a pretty, a pretty important film. And <clears throat> it was made by Kim Ji Woon. And he did a lot of other really important Korean films such as The Good, The Bad, and The Weird, A Tale of Two Sisters, and A Bittersweet Life. Um, all the movies he's, he's made have been um, very nuanced and um, I don't know if everyone would consider him like an auteur, but I feel like his films all have uh, his mark on them, even though they're all very different. Um, the Good, the Bad, and the Weird's like a action comedy western, and um, this film is most definitely a thriller with horror elements. Um, some may even consider it like a thrasher style horror film, but I think it has too much nuance just to be lumped in with like slasher films. Um, the film is remarkably beautiful. Uh, it reminds me of classic cinema. Um, the opening scene is this car drive through like a snowy mountainside and it's just beautiful. There are some like trigger warning style events that happen in the film. If you're not, if you're not okay with gore or extreme violence in movies, don't watch this. It originally had to be recut several times before it was even allowed to be released. And now I believe we're seeing his, uh, the version I saw was the uncut version. So I believe it's as close to the director's original vision as uh, we'll get to see. So it is extremely violent. Um, don't watch it if you're not prepared for that. It will scar you. There is so much to say about this movie that I don't really know how to kind of organize my thoughts. And I've noticed in a couple of my other reviews Um, if I organize my thoughts too much, I don't like the delivery I give. So I'm going to try to more just talk to you about how this movie made me feel. Um, <clears throat> I had to watch it twice and I started watching it a third time because it's a, it's a lot to take in. It's a very long movie. It's uh, about two and a half hours long and, um, it's complex. It tells the tale of our main character and he his oh, okay. cut all right the lead character is played by Lee Byung Hun and his name is Kim Soo Hyun uh, he's a special agent and it's a revenge film about him trying to exact revenge on the person who kills his uh, girlfriend or wife. And in the movie, I think what sets it apart from your normal thriller or your normal horror film is the progression of this like cat and mouse game that the main character and this like serial killer are playing with each other. And it's it's different because you watch someone who is trying to seek justice for a wrong that was done to him and his partner and you watch him transform into someone who only cares about exacting revenge in the most painful and I don't know of a better word like abusive way possible it doesn't pull any punches 
there are several scenes where you probably want to look away because you're not used to seeing um, this level of brutality. Um, especially in like a thriller, maybe in like Saw or a like straight horror film, but seeing this level of brutality in a thriller is, I don't believe is very normal. And the way you see the agent kind of turn into the villain is through this, this, this game where the villain kills someone or does something wrong. And the hero finds him and punishes him. And then you think, okay, like he got him back. Maybe the movie will reach its climax and start to resolve itself. But no, he lets the killer go every time. And then punishes him again. And I think the the meat of the character transformation is in he doesn't really care that other people are being hurt by the serial killer he just wants his personal vendetta to be acted upon and the killer makes it very hard because he convinces our hero that he can't feel anything and that nothing he's done to him will cause him any pain. And so this kind of forces the hero to take a kind of villainous stance on his, um, on exacting his retribution. I highly recommend this film. If you can stand violence, Brutality. I think the the arcing story, the cinematography, and the emotional punches in the film are are worth it. I know most people are probably you know completely familiar, but please don't watch the English dubbed version of this movie. Um, I watched that version first and the voice acting is very like B comedy style. Like you don't get the same tonality through the film as you do watching it in the original language. If you watch it in the English dubbed, the, the beats are off the the vocal quality of the actors doesn't match the intensity and the emotion of the original actors. So please watch it and just read the subtitles or you will be really cutting yourself off from a fantastic movie. I don't, I don't know what else I have to say, but first good review. I'm so happy. There are good movies out there that I've never heard of.